What's that? Oh, there you go. Everybody. We are with Daddy and me on our airplane experiment. What are you? What is that? What did you do? I started a bunch of stuff together. You did. So I'm going to relink this back up because I unplugged it to solder. Put it back on the channel. So, um, so okay, the LED flashes when it does not have a fix. I was that I was thinking backwards. So. It flashes like every second when it doesn't have a good reception. When it's off, it means we're okay. It's kind of a bad design because we don't know if it's got power or it's on, but that's okay. We added the light anyway. Maybe we'll just cover it up and we can see it through here. It's the opposite of what we thought. I thought the light was on when it was working, but it's actually off when it's working. That's why when it was it's flashing. it's not working, then it flashes? Exactly, every one second to indicate that it's trying to find a fix, but it's not fixed. So that's good and bad. Uh, it just means it's on, power's on, but it's not doing. It's not connected to anything. So <clears throat> on the art, on the beagle bone, the green light flashes. We'll show that in a second. So right now, uh, what I, what we did, what Riley did, is we made this contraption. I'll show you closer in a minute. But uh, I soldered some wires on the bottom real quick and plugged it into the um, serial connector so that we can actually program this thing so right here on the screen you can see it's tracking and then uh, if you look at the uh, setup it's uh, we, we basically set it up we had to set it up that one that chip so we put it put the parameters in there we set it to 5 Hertz reading every 5 Hertz sending out data every 5 Hertz that's why it's flashing five times a second so now we're done with that um, we added this wire, which goes to our beagle bone. So we're going to disconnect all this mess, just have this, and we'll mount it on the plane. And then Riley had a good idea. Well, I asked Riley if we had a small dome piece of plastic. She said we had this ball. This was like a ball pit ball. We bought where? From uh, Goodwill. Yeah, we got these from Goodwill, and this one was left outside, still in good shape. And uh, cut it in half. And then I trimmed this one down, and what we're going to do... Let's put this over that on the plane, right? Yes. I mean, the idea was to let the light pop out the top, but maybe I don't even want the light on there because it does the opposite of what I thought it did, which is kind of annoying. Is there That's okay. Oh, wait, you just got that on there. We could put a power light on there as well and then also have that one. So if that one's not flashing but the power light's on, we know it has a fix, but I don't know. Kind of weird, but when I say fix, I mean it has a location, it's tracking itself, it knows where it's at according like to the all GPS. Those? All those? All those. So Satellites? if this, yes, From so outer space. That is correct. So GPS. What does it stand for? Global S track positioning. Ging. I don't know. System. Global positioning system. So this little chip has this antenna on the top. The chips are under the little silver ten thing that we yep. soldered this wire to. So under this antenna is the actual stuff that does the uh, GPS information and it sends it out over serial which is connected to this or this at the moment. So anyway um, we're gonna unsolder this hook it up to the beagle bone and yeah the beagle go from there. Okay so here's the GPS that Riley made up. She soldered some surface mount parts on there. What? <laughs> what is that? It's a banana smile. A banana smile. And uh, we're, we're going to use actually use some hot glue and hot glue these components in place so they don't move around. Even though we soldered them. Yeah. And then we'll... Still. <laughs> we will... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to just kind of push this light down. Huh. I was going to let it stick through the top, but now I kind of think I'm just going to tuck, tuck it in there. Cause I think we'll stick see it, it in there. I think we'll see it flashing under that. Because it's really thick. Probably not actually, out in the sun. It's not too thin. It's actually pretty thick. Yeah, we probably will not see that out in the sun, but we're definitely probably going to see it in here. The top is super thin, but this is... I trimmed that one down off of that one to make to make it smaller. I didn't want it to be sticking out of the top. Oh, wait. So you mean you cut... Yeah, I cut it oh, in half. Oh, there's layers. No, I cut it in half. Like that. But how come this is so thin? 
Oh, yeah, the, the edge is thin. That's a good thing, though. Because we don't want that. If we had a clear one, that would have been better, but we didn't have a clear one. We don't even have a white one. Yeah, that's all right. Let's, uh, let's hot glue this, and then we'll install it on the plane. All right, so we just plugged it in to our mess <laughs> over here, yep. and you can see, oh, it quit flashing. Do you see that? 36. So I'm going to unplug it again so we can see that. So when I unplug it, the battery power saves the the database of information that it gathered, but if I plug it back in, no GPS. You can see it flashes, and then up here we have no GPS, and then no fix. It found the GPS. Now we got no GPS again. Yep, and it'll come and we'll go until it gets Somewhere. figured out, and then once it uh, finds us, finds us. Once no it fix. finds a fix, it will not no GPS. disappear every Come on, light. second or two. Stop flashing. Come on, light. Come on, light. We'll be back once it fixes itself. So. Okay, LED quit flashing. It took about, I don't know, a minute. And you can see right there that uh, we're good. So 3D fix. And uh, the GPS is now good. So GPS, when it says no fix, it means it doesn't know where it's at. And 3D fix means that it knows exactly where the height is along with the longitude and latitude. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. Okay, Riley, I want to explain this to you real quick. This, okay, this has two antennas. Two, an two antennas. Do you know why? Because it's a two channel? No, it's, channel it's actually a six channel. Or seven channel. So, it has two antennas. This is called diversity antennas. So, you mean if one quits, then the other can do it? Exactly, but here's the thing. When the plane is moving, these antennas are like moving with the plane, right? If they're turning and tilting like this. So what you're supposed to do is put these at 90 degree from each other. So one kind of sticking up like this and one sticking out like that. Because the receiving antenna is sticking this way. So if these antennas cross, they don't they get bad reception. If these antennas are the same, it gets good reception. Okay? So if you have two of these, one sticking that way, one sticking this way, when this turns, okay, if this one was up, of course, I can't hold it. But see, now that one's aligned, and then now this one's aligned. See that? So it's called antenna diversity. 
and that way it basically will pick up whichever one has the most the, the best signal and then we also bought the little this thing which is called a satellite oh, yeah, receiver that. it also has diverse knee antenna see that it already has it diverse yeah and this we can plug into here but it's got the wrong plug on it and then we have actually four antennas but I had problems with this didn't seem to work quite like I want I have to play with this some more nonetheless that's why it has two antennas mm. so if we mount this in here somewhere like that then we can stick one out the side and maybe tape one into the like corner like this or something then it'll be kind of at that angle we'll figure that out yeah. anyway that's the receiver for my remote control the DX6E Ta-da! Made in China, of course Imagine that Do you have anything to say for yourself? Bye Say ya! We gotta go to bed Yeah Good job That was fun Yeah, we're getting there We got our GPS cap Got our battery sitting in there temporarily Got some of our wires sort of tagged out of the way and Just getting it mocked up, right? Yeah Figure out what we can do stuffing and what we can't do. We're stuffing stuff. Our GPS cap, dude, what a good idea with this little thing. I have no idea if in the middle of the heat of the summer the hot glue will melt, but I hope not. We'll see. If it does, we'll glue it on something else. <laughs> or tape it. <laughs>